If you want to produce a great sounding video, you're going to need great sounding audio to go along with your picture. Here are some tips to hide lavaliers from camera. Sometimes you won't be able to use a tie bar to clip a lavalier onto talent. Wardrobe that is closed in the front, such as this t-shirt, does not offer any button down openings to insert the bar. Clearly, I am not wearing a jacket or sweater with lapels. There are also many situations that call for totally hidden miking. Placing a microphone inside talent's clothing is definitely an intrusion of privacy, so it requires that you maintain a high level of professionalism and courtesy. To hide a microphone underneath clothing, it's necessary to fish wires or mic cables inside the shirt, blouse, or dress, perhaps even down a pants leg. There are a couple of inexpensive tools that you can use to make this task quicker and less intrusive. A smooth torpedo shaped metal weight can easily be attached to the end of a connecting cable and then lowered through loose clothing. Tighter fitting wardrobe may require a stiff metal rod to feed the wire along its path. Some audio dealers sell specially manufactured weights and rods for this purpose, but common fishing weights and rifle cleaning rods found in many sporting goods stores work just as well. Once the lavalier is roughly positioned, the next step is to prepare the mic for rigging under clothing. Form a small loop of cable close to the mic head around the size of a nickel. This loop is extremely important because it serves to block cable noise and vibration. Tie off the loop with a small piece of string or thread. If those are not handy, just tear off a very narrow sliver of cloth camera or gaffer's tape. Wrap the tape with the clean side facing the cable and the sticky side out. Tie the loop so that it's not overly snug and can breathe easily when tugged. This allows the loop to provide some emergency slack if talent somehow stretches in a way that would pull on the cable. To guard the lavalier head from clothing noise, we're going to encapsulate it within a pair of sticky triangles made out of tape. These triangles provide enough surface area to prevent clothing from freely moving across our mic, and their soft padding insulates the capsules from vibrations carried along the clothing fibers. To form the sticky triangles, start by tearing off a couple of 3 inch long strips of cloth camera tape. Don't use paper tape or plastic duct tape which would be noisy. Make sure it's adhesive cloth tape. Take each of your 3 inch strips and begin by folding one corner over, sticky side out, to make a triangle. Continue folding corner over corner as if folding a flag. Remember, sticky side out. Try to keep your fingers to the edges to preserve the adhesive. Carefully sandwich the mic between the triangles. Be careful that you don't seal up or block the open sound ports at the top of the mic. Here, we're using an AT899 Omni, but this approach will work with any top-facing lavalier. If your lavalier is a side address or side-facing configuration, offset one of the triangles so as to not block the porthole. Place the loop just opposite of a button and gently attach the triangle above it. It's important to anchor and strain relief the rig by taping down the wire below the loop. Put a strip of cloth tape here from button to button and press it firm. This will absorb any major tugging of the cable from below. If the actor has to remain wired for more than a short period of time, or if there's a concern about moisture either from weather or excessive perspiration, you can reinforce the sticky triangles by inserting a safety pin into one or both of the corners. The safety pin will bear the weight of the rig so that the sticky faces of the triangles only have to prevent clothing rub. Go ahead and rebutton talent. As you can see, the lavalier is now completely hidden. If the talent is wearing a tire scarf, place another sticky triangle or some double stick tape just below where your mic is. Allow for some slack and then adhere the inside of the tie to prevent it from intermittently knocking into the mic. This basic rig, consisting of sticky triangles, a floating loop, and an anchor strip of tape, can be used in other areas besides the overlap of the buttons. For instance, the triangle could nestle inside a bra at the front where the cups join. The trailing cable could either be anchored with medical tape to the abdomen or be tucked along the bra to the side or back. You could do the rig sideways under a collar, or on the shoulder strap of an undergarment. In the case of very loose or flimsy tops, you may need to secure the rig directly to the chest. The basic principles remain the same, but substitute a medical tape such as Transpore for the inside triangle and anchor strips that would go against the skin. 
Clean the surface of the skin to remove natural oils with a disposable alcohol wipe, which you purchase in any drugstore. Otherwise, your tape will not stick. You will certainly need more than just a small triangle to hold up the rig, and safety pins are out of the question. Form a simple chest strap or lav bra, as the industry calls them, by wrapping a strip of medical tape or athletic wrap around the torso. In part two of Hiding Labs, we'll show you more ways to wire talent. In the video studio or on location, Audio Technica has you covered.